from me so i think i'm actually gonna walk there today and then i'm going to attempt to do four miles on the treadmill i don't know why i'm just feeling a treadmill run today i will report back later as to how that goes so red earlier like i've never been so hot i think because i wore a entirely black outfit that was kind of a thicker cotton so yeah when i got home i took a nice cold shower and basically sat in front of the fan for 10 minutes just to literally cool off that was much needed so something that has surprised me about my whole running up taking thing is that i've been able to do it without drinking any coffee or eating before which the eating didn't actually surprise me because i've intermittent fasted and like ran on an empty stomach before in fact i prefer it that way but the coffee thing i wasn't sure if it would work i've been feeling pretty good and i haven't been getting like too exhausted throughout the day it's only like the start of the third week of my training for my half marathon in case anyone didn't hear about that in the last vlog Today is Monday and we need to get started with the day. So I'm gonna make my little to-do list, plan out my day, and I'm just kind of taking you guys along for another day in the life. Not necessarily like so much work focused like my last vlog, but just kind of what I'm up to today. I'm so the first thing I like to do in the morning is open up all the blinds. Or not the blinds, the curtains. We just Last week installed all the curtains and I such a relief because that was one of the you know lingering things to do on our to-do list. It has really changed the mood of the house. Also ordered some earrings from Nominal. I guess I can show you. For the longest time, I think basically since I was 14, I've had literally the same. They're gold and ruby little studs, I think that's what they're called. So then I got these like gold hoops. But they're way too heavy and thick and I don't know if you guys can see how it has the pointy end. I thought that like the back of the earring would like go into the rest of the hoop so that it wouldn't poke me in the back of the ear. I'm going to exchange, well return these and then I ordered a new pair. It's actually a set of four gold hoops. writing the pancake american breakfast wave unfortunately we don't have any turkey bacon but i'm so hungry we're going out of town on wednesday and we'll be gone for the weekend so i want to get this laundry out of the way plus i'm running out of my running outfits <laughs> now 4 30 and i've decided i'm done working for today i think my run really just tired me out and i had to go lay down for like 20 minutes i didn't actually sleep or anything i just like literally needed to lie down and be away from technology for the rest of the evening we need to work on our kitchen backsplash which if you saw i think in my previous vlog i showed the one that we chose this past weekend we started the project we were hoping we would finish last week or like by the end of the weekend but we did not because obviously these things take time and a lot of prep and all of that so i'm gonna show you kind of what the process looks like we actually got or rented a wet saw from one of the like home improvement stores 
I don't know if you guys can hear the saw going off, but this has been Persia's new favorite spot. Just the stairs right in front of this window. Okay, so yesterday I spent a good amount of time kind of mapping out where we need to cut. I don't know if you could tell by these thin lines. We actually, I think I need to remeasure some of these. Boring to explain. But yeah, obviously that's the tile we chose. We've been using our dining table as kind of like a workstation. Yeah, it, I think it's cute, I don't know. And so yesterday we started in this corner and this is all we've done so far. We have to do this wall and this wall and above the stove. The actual like attaching of the tile is not super difficult. It's just all the measuring, cutting, cause you have to go around like the outlets. Show you guys the wet saw. So this is what it looks like. It's very loud, so I'm gonna step back. It's cool because you get like these really clean lines. I'm using this um, tile adhesive. So I take this and I scoop it up and I just kind of like plaster or butter it on the wall. And then we have these one eighth inch spacers that we put in between each tile so that over time it doesn't sag down and it just stays really consistent throughout. Honestly, I'm pretty hungry. So I need a snack before I get to work and before we eat dinner. Let's see what we have. I had some friends over on Friday and we got some pizza. And yeah, there's just a few little itty bitty pieces left so I think that'll be perfect because I don't want, I don't want like too much right now. back wall and finish this little corner right here and I could keep going but um Sala is not here right now he had to go do something and I he's the one who's using the wet saw I don't know if you can see but we need to do this side that side and cut around that outlet and cut a straight line at the top also we're putting like a big hood vent here so it's not just going to be like this huge you know, bare wall of backsplash. Also need to make some cuts here, so that's why I cannot really continue right now. All right, I've got a big pile of laundry here to fold. This upcoming week, so I think I mentioned this, we're going to Cleveland. Sorry, I feel like this angle is so weird. This weekend, we're going to Cleveland on Wednesday because my childhood friend is getting married. I'm really excited for her wedding. She's having two events, one on Thursday, one on Saturday. So we have to be, you know, at home in Cleveland for those events. I am actually going to be a bridesmaid, so I need to try on my outfit with all the jewelry and the hijab style. You guys know the drill to make sure it all looks good. But yeah, after I fold this, I'm probably going to see if we need to finish up anything downstairs. And then we're going to eat dinner. We got some Indian food last night from this place that we had not tried before. And... It was decent. Yeah, hopefully I'll have time to watch my shows because that's my time to like decompress. Just a pretty typical day in the life. Today's Monday, forgot if I mentioned that. I also want to figure out what my schedule is going to be for tomorrow because honestly running this morning, that was kind of tough. And I don't know if I'm going to be mentally or physically ready to do that again tomorrow morning. So I want to know if I'm doing that in the morning or the afternoon. Another random thing I thought to mention is that I have a haircut on Wednesday, which I'm so excited for. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm so bad at maintenance. Like, I know that it's so much better for your hair to get a trim every two to three months, but I wait like literally five or six months or until like it's so just dry and split endy at the ends. I I feel like I always struggle. Obviously you guys don't see my hair, but I just feel like it gets dry sometimes. So if anyone has recommendations for what to do about dry hair, 
please let me know. It's to me about one to two times a year, but I just had like a manic episode of cleaning out and sorting through all my socks. I keep my socks in this like velvet box thing. Yeah, I clearly have way too many fluffy socks. These are all, what is it called? High rise socks? Is that the term? These are like ankle socks and then these are no shows. And I feel like I'm always needing more of these. I just need to find a better way to like easily find the type of sock that I need. I don't know. I just don't really have the energy now to figure out that solution because this whole thing just took a lot out of me. Gosh, this kitchen area is such a mess. I need to get those like hooks where you put the curtains like, behind them instead of having to tie them each time. I just feel like it's a lot every time to have to tie and untie. So something about me is that I can live with a mess, but it has to be an organized mess. Like when everything is just jumbled up together, that's when I cannot think straight. So like for example, papers can go here, this can be tools. I'm gonna put scrap tiles, maybe like close to the tile box. So like I said, we're having leftovers for dinner. Sorry. We have, this is aloo gobi, which is like cauliflower and potatoes stew. It was okay. A little bit of white rice, a little bit of chili paneer, and the chicken biryani. So we'll probably finish all of this. You guys, all I want is this. I haven't had a dock pop in so long because they didn't have it at the store when I went last week. Here's what we're looking like. We cannot forget oops, the raita, which is like the yogurt sauce that goes over top of the biryani. All right, so we're on episode 21. I watched uh, Jane the Virgin in high school, and I've been really enjoying rewatching it.